the initial reaction had to take place between Fe3 plus and Cu because it was copper that we were dissolving in iron 3 plus, a solution of iron 3 plus. However, in this reaction, it's the opposite. We are adding Fe to a solution of Cu2 plus. What we have to do is the reverse equation. We have to dissolve Fe3, uh, Cu in Fe3 plus. That's the forward reaction because that's the initial reaction we are carrying out. And if you see the equation we made with, with the Fe3 plus Fe2 plus equation, that's actually what's happening. We are dissolving Cu in Fe3 plus. So we are actually carrying out what is supposed to be done because when a copper uh, coated uh, printed uh, copper coated printed circuit board is immersed in FeCl3, this means Cu is added to FeCl3. A pale blue solution is formed. That means Cu2 plus is formed. But in case of forming in this case, Cu2 plus is reacting, which is not possible. So therefore, we will have to use the Fe3 plus Fe2 plus uh, equation because that is giving us the correct reaction, which is given to us in the question. So I hope you understand why we used Fe3 plus and Fe2 plus instead of Fe3 plus and Fe. So let's move forward now. Use the data booklet to calculate the standard cell potential for the reaction between Cr2 plus ions and Cr2 O7 2 negative ions in acid solution and construct a balanced equation for the reaction. So in my data booklet, when I look at Cr2 O7 2 negative ions, then I get this in acid solution. Yes, the acid solution is very important because the half equation given in the data booklet is Cr2O7 2 negative plus 14H plus plus 6 electrons giving us 2 Cr3 plus plus 7 H2O. So this is the half equation for the Cr2O7 uh, two negative ions. Now let's and, and the E0. So before we write the other half equation, let's write the E0. The E0 is plus 1.33 volts. Now for Cr2 plus, we will have to, uh, for Cr2 plus, we will have to use CR3 plus plus E negative gives, um, I'm sorry about the arrows, CR3 plus plus E negative gives CR2 plus. So this is the half equation we will use for CR2 plus. Now you will see that there are other half equations for CR2 plus as well. But why are we using this one specifically? Because if you, when you, uh, uh, just like the last example, the reason why we use that specifically is the same reason. So when you on your own, when you try to use the other equations, you will not get an exact reaction between Cr2 plus and Cr2 O7 2 negative, which has been asked for in the question. So the E0 for this reaction is minus 0 0.41. So since this reaction, the second one, since this reaction is a uh, negative is lower than the first one, the E0 is lower, we'll have to invert this reaction. So this becomes Cr2 plus, plus, uh, not, not, not plus, sorry, it has to be, we'll have to make the arrows after this. Cr2 plus gives Cr3 plus plus E negative. Now this also gets inverted. So then we add the two electrode potentials together. Sorry, so this becomes plus 0 0.41. So we add these two together. So 1.33 plus 0 0.41, uh, 41, which gives 1.74 volts plus 1.74 volts. So we are done with this now. And uh, now let's, uh, so we'll have to multiply this equation by six because there are six electrons here but only one electron here. So we'll multiply this entire equation by six and the electrons get cancelled out. Now, 
Now when we add the two half equations, we get Cr2O7 2 negative.